They're back my horse chestnut tree, which is probably the single horse species for bonsai. The sycamore gets a lot of hate, but really, this is the winner. Anyway, as you can see, it's growing well last summer. Its leaves are nice and big, and since the length is even bigger. Everything about this tree is ugly and weird, but it's good fun. I found the conger on the ground, and I've been growing it ever since. And while it's not a good tree for bonsai, it's still a cool species. If you're from the UK, you'll know that these are pretty much all over the place. They totally represent our parks and whatnot, so I'm glad I've got my own. It really needs to be in a bigger pot, but this is what it's currently in. I think if you could grow this to be quite large, like a good metre and a half tall maybe, you might get away with it. The proportions might look a bit better then. Although if you look at the leaves here, they're not too bad. They're a lot smaller than they can be, so maybe there is hope for this tree. And while the trunk is weird, it's kind of cool. To drop this leaves pretty quickly in October, so we don't get a chance to have a good look at the colour. They do turn yellow, but they dry out and drop off very quickly. Now we just have to look at its weird shape all winter long. Those little bits that look like side branches are just the stems of the leaf. So you see this drop off when I touch them. So the structure isn't as good as you might have thought there. It really is just basic and ugly. But it's very much a young tree, so you can't expect much. Although you can see it's really not ideal, as it's just long straight sections and then just massive buds on the end. It's never going to get that small, tightly compact foliage. But I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe after a few years it will still look pretty interesting. Anyway, as you can see, I didn't do any work over winter. While everything is long and ugly, it's fine. There's no weird buds or unwanted branches, so I'm just going to leave it. In March there's nothing happening. But it seems to be a slow start for everything this year. I'm also not going to repot it. I think I can get away with doing that every two years. The roots are not too bad. I seem to have them under control, so they're actually alright. So I'm just going to leave them alone for now. In April, nothing is really happening, but hopefully it'll burst into life soon. And of course by May, it's woken up, and it looks equally as weird with the leaves. But at least they're small. I like it at this time of year, I think it looks best with the small leaves. And here we are now, where it seems to be growing pretty fine. There's not a lot going on in this video, but that's how it goes sometimes. Thanks for watching, see you next time.